Hi, Peter Short here. I thought this is appropriate uh, for a video rather than words. I've had my scan results and they haven't played out to be any different than I expected, but there is a bit of a shock in knowing that things have got considerably worse. The upside is the cancer is still in my lungs and in my esophageal passages. I have a uh, build up of fluid between the linings of the bottom of my lung and if that gets worse they can drain that out um, but uh, all in all this is exactly what I was expecting so I'm in month 10 of a three to nine month diagnosis now I have reassessed that and um, with a bit of back turning or arm to twisting from the doctor the reality is he gives me somewhere between 45 and 90 days left to live so when you put it in one and a half months to three months or as I'm choosing to do 45 days to 90 days um, it's it's a great thing knowing that I'm facing this anyway I've become a little bit lost and complacent in month 10 because there's no guidelines what happens next now I've got a firm line in the sand they'll get me off my butt won't be complacent and I'll be using every second that I've got um, the prognosis is it'll probably just get worse in my lungs and so a form of suffocation is the end game but again nothing new in that as far as uh, the one thing that really stood out for me when uh, the oncologist showed me the thing on the screen and I'll attach one of those to the blog the picture of your lungs <coughs> in that uh, you look at it and he said well how do you feel and I said and I, this is deadly serious I said look the fact that I have a choice at the end of life and control over that process whether I choose to take control myself or go naturally if I didn't have that choice looking at that screen I would be terrified but I can't explain it but looking at that screen I have no concerns it's what I expected and I'm really looking forward to the next few months Elizabeth and Mitchell are both in a good place as well which is fantastic I've got really my only issue is I've got so much to achieve and so little time left to achieve it so I ask you to um, stay in touch on the blog uh, look forward to any comments I'll put some words and some pictures underneath this blog as well um, I'll send this to the 22 and a half thousand petition petitioners my one goal or one of a number of goals I've got is I am going to eyeball Tony Abbott so I need around I'm going to eyeball Tony Abbott around um, a free and open vote on following up from the Senate report so I'll find a way to do that but if you can find a way to reinvigorate the sign-ons onto the petition that would just be fantastic I'm at about approaching 23,000 but I need tons more than that um, there's been a lot of press this is going on and on in in uh, people's minds help me get them to sign up in considerable numbers in terms of the documentary never looking better we've got a whole team on board that is going to come to fruition but again if anybody thinks of uh, how can they help and they want to donate to the documentary the crowdfunding is over but there are details on the website on the documentary tab and you're know, amazing I got this letter today from the Hemlock Society in California and it's a, it's a letter wishing me well from the Hemlock Society and enclosed is a check for a thousand dollars for the documentary so all the details on how you either do a BSB to the documentary or send a check directly to me are on the web anything that goes in there is also appreciated but the main message is this is playing out exactly the way I thought it was families intact we are all positive and we're going to have a hell of a run over the next 90 days and I'm going to change the heading on the top of my blog to start a countdown because I aim to be here for the 91st thanks for listening it's a long one over and out